Hello, this is Pastor Steve with Steve's on the mic, or is it Steve's on the mic and Pastor Steve? Anyhow, hey, I've got a good video audio mix for you, really inspirational, hopefully uplifting message regarding living in the overflow. We're going to start it off with some Charity Gale clip here, living in the overflow. Well, you may have recognized that voice. That was Charity Gale and her worship team. Charity Gale is the one that brought us uh, this tune that was circulating around uh, online here just a few weeks ago. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Just want to speak the name of Jesus to every dark addiction starts to break. Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak to Wow, that tune, I Speak Jesus, is a 7 minute 46 second cut. Uh, I have listened to that driving down the road repeatedly as many as three or four times in a row. Very powerful worship music. You can find her on YouTube. Just search for Charity Gale. But I want to go back in reference to that first song that, uh, that I played of hers, Living in the Overflow. And here's a short sermon clip from Transformation Church, Michael Todd speaking on the reality of living in the overflow. Now, Jesus tells us that he's the living water, and if we drink of that water, we shall have rivers of water flowing out of our bellies. Michael Todd, Transformation Church, speaking on the realities of living in the overflow. Most of our Christian lives, this is what we pray for. It's just to be filled up to the top. Can I break it all the way down? We just want salvation. Get me out of hell. Yeah, no, no, no. My relationship with God is straight. I did a prayer. I, my eternity is secure. Salvation, me and God, the big man I'm saying, we cool. And God said that was the first step to fill your life up. But I have an unlimited supply. I have an unlimited resource that I want to give to you. But you keep stopping me at the top. And what we do is then we go to people and we pour out a little bit. And pour out a little bit. And pour out a little bit. And then we come over here and, oh, I'm gonna give a lot to them. And then we spend decades trying to give out of not enough. And this is why we come to church every day, but we won't serve. This is why we still got an attitude and won't deal with our trauma. Because I'm saved, right? Like, I'm already saved. And then, and then you might have an encounter with God where he starts filling you up again. And, and you get in a small group and people can see you and you start being transparent and you're like, you know what? That's enough. That is enough. God did it. 
I think this should be enough for me to fake like I really live for God. It's more than my family, God. I'm more saved than all them. I, I, I mean, I'm not, I, it, I could be way worse. Way worse is not the standard. Like, who wants food and every time they eat it, they don't say it's good. They just say it could be way worse. I'm not going to that restaurant. God's saying stop settling for a salvation that is the beginning of the overflow. God said, don't stop me at the top. I want you to let me fill you up. And then I want you to not just get saved. I want you to let it what? Now the crazy thing about when it starts to overflow, stop it for a second. Anything that now touches this causes it to. Uh-oh. When people come into your life, they should be able to touch you. You should be so full. Full of love. Full of peace. Full of joy. Full of understanding. That when they touch you. And then we go back to the obscure place and say, God, here I am again. Mercy's new every morning. Feel me up, God. Feel me up, God. So when I go to work and they touch me, uh-oh. When I go to the school and I'm with my kids, feel me up, God. This is what overflow looks like. Now let me help you. Too many people, you can stop me have stopped God at the top. You know how they do it? Not by God stopping to flow. Put it back on. What they do is, all right, God, that's enough. That's enough. They quench the spirit. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Ain't pass. starting to get real right here, folks. Uh-uh. I don't share my business with people. Never gonna let nobody get that close to me. And what we do is we invite people to keep stopping us. Dad, come here real fast. Grab it down here, and you clinch it too. So we'll have family members. Uh oh. It'll become generation. The father stopped the flow. saw is men who didn't get vulnerable and show their emotions and deal with their issues and God wanted to use us to actually break those generational habits but all I've seen is people stop the flow Brent come here and, and what happens is Charles come here what happens is we start this chain reaction grab it so, so even when I decide, you know what? I really want God to use me now. And I let mine go. What happened to the flow? What was once flowing is a drip because of who I'm connected to. Uh -oh. And some of y'all have been letting the flow be stopped because of who's around you and we have stopped allowing God to flow in our life because it's not cool because nobody else is doing it because this is not what men do this is not what women do and God said I wanted you to live a life that was overflowing and today by this word I'm praying that prophetically there would be a chain reaction a chain reaction. Let it go, Dad. I'm letting go of generational habits. Let it go, Brent. My friends and my family, and it's gonna start to flow again. Just that easy. Uh oh, somebody needs to praise that this is a prophetic symbol of how your life is about to look. Just that easy. Somebody say it's about to flow.
are you living in the overflow? Dear God, let it be. By the way, folks, you have a friend at the Pack Packerton Church located on South Packerton Road, south of Warsaw, Indiana. Our address is Claypool. We worship on Sundays at 10 o'clock. We hope to see you there if you're in our area. And by all means, follow us on Facebook. Thanks for your comments, your likes, and your share. While you're at that YouTube channel, which if you're watching this on Facebook, it linked you over to the, to the YouTube channel, be sure and click subscribe. Like and comment there if you want. For right now, this is Pastor Steve for Steve's on the Mic, made possible in part. By the Packerton Church, you have a friend at the Pack, and we are, for now, over and out.